Lover Enshrined is the sixth book in J.R. Ward's Black Dagger Brotherhood series, focusing on the vampire world and the warriors who protect it. The novel delves into the life of Fury, one of the Brotherhood members, as he struggles with his personal demons and his responsibilities as the primal of the vampire species. Fury has volunteered to take on the role of primal, which means he is to father the next generation of vampire warriors with the chosen females. He accepts this duty to spare his twin, Zizadist, from the obligation and because of a sense of responsibility to the race. But Fury is plagued by a lingering addiction to drugs and haunted by his traumatic past, causing him to struggle with his new role. The narrative also follows Cormia, the first of the chosen who was supposed to mate with Fury. Initially, the idea of being with the Primal terrifies her, but as she spends more time with him, she begins to develop feelings. Cormia must also adjust to the outside world after living a sheltered life. For her, everything is new and exciting, but she is conflicted between her duty and her growing love for Fury. Fury's drug addiction escalates throughout the book, and his behavior becomes increasingly erratic. The Brotherhood is concerned for him, but they are busy facing threats from the Lessers, desold humans hunting vampires. The Omega, the Lesser's malevolent leader, is gearing up for a major assault against the vampires, putting them all in danger. Meanwhile, the novel introduces the character of Lash, a young aristocratic vampire close to John Matthew, one of the pre-transition vampires who are part of the Brotherhood's extended community. Lash's father is killed by the Brotherhood, and Lash's subsequent anger and need for revenge lead him down a dark path that results in his transformation into a lesser by the Omega. The Brotherhood deals with its own internal conflicts. Vicious, tormented by his unrequited love for another male vampire and his feelings for a human surgeon, Jane, ends up in a life-threatening situation. His recovery is complicated, drawing attention away from Fury's issues. As part of the ongoing plot, the reader observes the strengthening relationships among the Brotherhood, including Zizadist's healing relationship with his mate Bella and their daughter, as well as the continued romantic tensions between other members. Fori's addiction reaches a peak, and he begins to hear the voice of the wizard, a sinister imaginary persona embodying his darkest thoughts. The wizard torments Fori, playing on his insecurities and pushing him towards self-destruction. As Cormia builds a relationship with Fori, she starts to see his struggles and tries to support him. The novel takes a dramatic turn when Fury decides to sacrifice himself to protect the Brotherhood during an attack by the Lessers. Fury is prepared to die, but the intervention of his brothers and Cormia prevents his death. This near-death experience serves as a wake-up call for Fury to confront his addiction. Cormia and the Chosen, inspired by her example, also evolve throughout the story. They become less submissive and sheltered, contributing to the welfare of their society. Cormia's independence grows, and she becomes a bridge between the old ways and the new path that the vampire society is forging. Fury begins to clean up his act, though his position within the Brotherhood and his role as Primal are compromised due to his erratic behavior. He steps down from the role of Primal, deciding that Cormia will be his only mate, and they will lead the Chosen together in a different capacity. By the end of the novel, the Brotherhood has managed to defeat the current lesser threat, and the characters' relationships have solidified or evolved. Fury and Cormia are finally able to consummate their relationship, both emotionally and physically, and begin to look forward to a new chapter in their lives. Lash is now an enemy of the Brotherhood, consumed with the power given to him by the Omega and set on revenge against those he holds responsible for his father's death. His character sets the stage for further conflicts in future books. The story closes with the Black Dagger Brotherhood stronger and more united than ever, even as they face continuous threats from the Lessers and the ever-changing dynamics of their world. Fury finds a new purpose and strength in his life with Cormia, overcoming his addiction and looking towards the future as a warrior, lover, and a leader in the vampire community. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.